Our first lesson is from the book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 22 through 31. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription, To an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines by my human hands, nor is the Lord served by human hands, as though God needed anything, since it is the Lord who gives all, to all mortals life and breathes in all things. From one ancestor all nations were made to inhabit the whole earth, and the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would find or where they would live, so that they would search for, perhaps grope for, and find God, though indeed the Lord is not far from each of one of us. For in God we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now God commands all people everywhere to repent, repent, because a day has been fixed on the which the world will be judged in righteousness by the one whom God has appointed, and has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. 